Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming at coming you. At ya. <laughs> so it has been just just kind of a crazy awesome day and a half. I don't even have words. Yeah. And and awesome being like it's it, been crazy. It's been crazy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but I just so we just wanted to kind of share what happened yesterday and mm -hmm. then and then really today. And um, we had yeah, thought about doing, <laughs> yeah, we had thought about doing a video last night, but really felt like God was like, no, no, don't yeah, do it. Yeah, and then it. look what happened. And then I, like... I can see why, because there was just so much more revelation to bring. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday, woke up, and you had a vision, like, pretty much right when you woke up. Yeah, woke up, and I was in the bathroom. <laughs> And I saw this hand just like coming at me like this. It was a big hand. And I knew it was like the hand of God. It was no man's hand. And um, and I was like, oh, great. And it reminded me of the vision that God gave me about a, a remnant of people gathered in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were, he was, Jesus was in the middle and we were running around him symbolizing our lives revolve around him and yeah. we were moving so fast it created this vortex around him and then he reached out his hand and touched our lives and it just sent us off like kind of like a releasing of an arrow mm -hmm. type of thing and then he did that with a bunch of other people too so and then um i hadn't gotten any numbers or anything like that and i was almost relieved to a certain degree but but um but yeah, then and then I saw this. like uh, the five, five, five. Mm -hmm. Then my daughter was like, "Hey, Dad, I've seen a bunch of twos this morning." I was like, "Well, that's because you're in the two twenties of the page of your Bible. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna see two twenty one, two twenty two. She's like, they're just like, I'm bursting with numbers. There are twenty twos everywhere." <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> and I was like, "Well, that's because it's this, Annalise." And and then she was like, "Well, I was looking at my family activities and my Bibles, and I saw five, five, five. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you got a five. Because, you know, it's five fingers or five yeah. digits and a hand coming at me. And then the five, 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 two times from yeah, two different sources. Yeah, and then you sources. saw like 855. Yeah. Then later on I saw 855. So fives were just insane. Fives and threes were just yeah. pretty much the only number yesterday. You know? Well, and then you felt like God was bringing up the 17s again. Because then you went and right. printed out the document. Right, Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I felt because I was like, how does that relate to the fives? Yeah, you know, and then I felt like the Lord was like, well, if you know, twelve plus five is seventeen. Basically, He was saying that God, the Judge, which is what the twelve represents, the Governor, is moving His hand to mm -hmm. make decrees and movements and making things happen, almost like Jesus signing an executive order. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, this is going to happen. Yeah. You know? And when and then when you were reading about the number 17, it actually mm -hmm. talked about the hand. The hand. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, okay, I hear you, Lord. You're doing something today. Yeah, it's basically like the hand of victory is really, mm -hmm. like, overcoming. And it was the 29th, and so you were talking about yeah, how so, it Yeah, so um, because it's the and... 29th, then... It, you know, we've heard or learned from um, what's Troy Troy Brewer. Troy Brewer, yeah. He has he was talking about how mountains can you know it twenty nine represents mountains. You know, like the Mount or it Everest. Or has something to is, do with yeah, mountains. Yeah, it's like Mount Everest is twenty nine thousand twenty nine feet, and and things like that. And, and there's so twenty nine mountains in the Bible. Yeah, and so he was talking about the number twenty nine, and it was like, whoa, okay, so this. Maybe today, like, because I woke up, right before I woke up, I felt like, I was just kind of thinking in my head about, you know, the delivery of the baby. Like, ooh, is this baby going to be born today? The promise. The promise. The promise of God. And, um, and I felt like God was just kind of like, well, why not? And I was like, okay, so I woke up. Why not today? Why not today? Like, why not expect like, this? Like, great, we're going to you know? move to Nashville today. And Something's <laughs> going to happen. It's going to connect us to Nashville. And, and, and um, an awesome house. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I just kind of woke up with that, and then Devin came in. And so it was just kind of this, like, expectation of victory is really yeah. what we got out of yeah. it. It's like, okay, expect victory. And, and, and then, while we were having this conversation... 
uh, one of our friends, Tracy, on Facebook, yeah. was posting something yeah. about expect victory. And yeah. Stuff. I was like, what? Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, okay, it's, Lord, you're speaking. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, we expect victory. And of course, we're thinking we expect victory for the current situation. Yeah. You know, our current Well, we're looking needs. at the end, you know, yeah. for the joy that was set before us. We're looking for that joy yeah. to be fulfilled. Yeah. Especially and when God said the next uh, thing is desire fulfilled. Yes. You know? And so, you know, we just kind of... Oh, and then I was reading about um, the number 29. And so it can also talk about departing. It's, it's mm -hmm. It has to go with, like, leaving. Um, and so we're like, okay, well, yeah, depart. Like, we're going to leave. We're going to, you know, get out of here. And... Um, <laughs> and I'm just telling it's it's like because we're constantly thinking the physical the physical and not always the spiritual right and it, it was very much this like once again this very spiritual moment of God and so but we didn't know that then <laughs> and we didn't. we're just kind of prepared for that today though yes we are <laughs> we're like this is gonna be spiritual yes and then watch someone's gonna call us and say, "Hey, something physical's happening." Like what? I, I'd be we all right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but um, so then we basically we were just kind of going through our day. But there was uh, once again a because um, on Saturday we talked about how we experienced just like the attack of the enemy, the dragon, the dragon coming to to, burp, to try and devour. Kid, yeah. And so once again we were hit like just the dragon coming to get us only this it time wet. it was a very very similar situation at first mm -hmm. and and like oh you mean the kind of attack that it yeah, was yeah. yeah and it was basically a carbon copy but with a different kid yeah that was basically what <laughs> it was, it was. Like, what? and but then <laughs> it was like uh, like it just hit me differently yesterday and so it was just i was starting to get dragged down and but you were just like, all right, I'm going to... I recognized it. Yeah. I was like, no, I see what's going on here. Hold on. Let's back up. Yeah. Let's pause the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Yeah. This is exactly what happened yesterday. I mean, all the exact same elements were happening, yeah. happening all over again. Yeah. But it was almost like the enemy was like, let's try a different person. Let's mm -hmm. try a different thing to yeah. do the exact same thing. You know, so like, no, Devin was just this. kind of you were like just fighting through it, fighting through it, mm -hmm. and I was just kind of like, ugh, kind of starting to sink down a bit, <laughs> and then um, I was able to just get some time with God, and He was just was showing me. I was just like, I really felt stretched. I really felt like. I can't do this anymore. Like what, Lord, I am trying. I want to be who you want me to be, but wow, this is hard. I was literally just like, ah, oh, like <laughs> yeah. so intense. Yes. And then like at the same time, God was reminding me again of the picture of giving birth and like the ring of fire. And Which I was, has been the theme the past several yeah, days, right? Yeah, yeah. And the giving birth. And so it was like, whoa, the ring of fire. Like, that is where we're at because God is just stretching us and stretching us. And for me at that moment, I was just like, wow, okay, Lord, I am just, woo, yes, I'm back on this. And then I come to share with Devin what was going on. And then you were talking about very similar of just... Oh, about my experience? Yeah, your experience. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 you were in the shower. Yeah. And I was out here cooking lunch for the kids or something mm -hmm. like that. And I could just sense the enemy because this, this little situation that he tried to get started to bring division mm -hmm. in our family um, only served to draw us even closer. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but I was in the kitchen just going like, you know what, devil? I'm going to tell you this right now. I am going to pursue the Lord. Not only that, but it, there was this moment that happened to me where I just gave myself wholeheartedly to believing what God has been speaking to us this whole year. Yeah. Even though we haven't seen the physical manifestation of mm -hmm. it, we know that he's been forming it like a womb in us. And mm -hmm. we are the thing he's been forming in the womb, yeah. but also his promise in us, he's been forming like a baby in a womb. And I'm like, I'm giving my, myself wholeheartedly to this. I am not going to stop believing. I am going to continue to believe. I'm just, because there's a part of me that has always reserved this, 
well, I'm going to keep this little bit of doubt handy. Yeah. Because, God, this might not happen the way I think. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, you know what? Even if nothing happens the way I think, I know that God is not going to let me na let me down. I know that he is faithful. He is good. He is merciful. And all those things that he is, he is always those things. Yeah. Those things will not disappoint. And I think that's what the Lord meant by the depth that depth of intimacy that you're seeking and that you're diving into it will not ever yeah. disappoint you it's mm -hmm. not going to because situations change circumstances change ah oh, well that thing fell fell out and but god's got something else better for you yeah. and it's gonna stick and you will remain like lana Vosser was saying it's like all that stuff is good but god is the same yesterday today forever he's never going to change mm -hmm. and i'm like i'm seeking him I'm going after him and I am not, I'm just, it's not going to work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to work. You know, I know you have no choice but to attack because that's all you can do. Yeah. But it's not going to work. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. And, I, and, and I just felt like it was all like, like that healing thing that mm -hmm. happened between you and me and the Lord where he scooped it out. It was like that little bit of that little small little safety deposit box of disappointment. I just gave it up. I yeah. just let it go, and I'm just like, and I and I felt a like, I, it's gonna sound weird, I know, but I felt a birthing of myself. Yeah. I mean, I, I literally felt like I was going through something. Well, and you were. And oh yeah, yeah, because that if you can see this uh, Doorway. corridor, I w I had that moment as I was going from this living room to our kitchen. I was like, ah. I was I just kind of came through and I was like it can be a kind of a gross image but <laughs> but it's like I just I just felt it and I was just like no and then I felt the Lord say like Devin that was your Jesus moment mm -hmm. you know the moment where Jesus was like away from me Satan yeah. I'm not you're you know I'm not gonna do this with you I'm yeah. not gonna do what you want me to do I'm not gonna bow down to the molten image you cast up for me to worship I'm not going to do it and it's yeah. like and then it says in the, when Jesus was in the wilderness, and it says, and then the enemy left him until a more opportune time, yeah. you know, to come back and, and mess with him. And man, I felt just the, whoa, I felt the exhilaration of yeah. the Lord. Like, he was just like, you're amazing. I can't believe you did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a little hot. I had to get on my sweatshirt. But <laughs> <laughs> so I just, so basically I came in and we were just talking and sharing and, and, I, I truly, like, it was like I was not there yet. I wasn't my, where, where I was. Where Devin was. Yeah. And, but he's just like, whoa, this is so awesome. I'm just like, woo. And, and I was just like, well, I was definitely lifted up by what God shared with me. But I was still like, oh, like, there's just this small part that was still like, okay, like, I'm going to, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep believing. And so as the day went on and, and really through all this, I'm still, we're still looking for the fulfillment of the promise. And so basically by... I'm not. You're not. <laughs> you were. I was. I didn't realize that either. Yeah. Once again, I didn't realize you were operating off of this, something's going to happen today. The yeah. whole why not today from this yeah. morning. Yeah. I didn't realize you were doing that. <laughs> yeah. Or I would have tried to help you much earlier. <laughs> And so I'm just going and going and, and really as the, you know, as the time goes by, it's just things start coming at me and things start coming at me. And then, so by the time, you know, we got the kids to bed, I'm just, I'm just in a bad, bad place. Like just my heart is like grieving and I'm just like. And this has been going on for a while. Yeah. A couple hours. And. And it was just like, wow, God, once again, like, I think that you're going to do something. And it just, things just started coming out. And then I was sitting on the couch and it was just, it was just going in this really bad downward spiral of just like, wow. And then, you know, I was trying to analyze everything. Like, wow, like another day of disappointment. Yeah, it was, it was like, wow, there's another day of disappointment. And then, and then all the while though, like you're talking about, wow, actually today was a day of victory. Like, this is <laughs> awesome. And I'm serious. Yeah. Like he was, you were just going, talking about all the victory and, and God amped. and how you can be victorious. Amped, and, and honestly, for me, it was an irritation. It just kept, I was being, it was irritating me because I'm just like, well, and I actually said, I was like, well, 
maybe two days from now, maybe on Tuesday, I'll get my my victory because because, because yeah. previously <laughs> with like you know when the past God two times. Yeah, the past yeah. two times like with the inner healing like mm -hmm. it was Devin and then I got some revelation couple and days then later. Yeah, yeah a couple of days later it was literally like on a Tuesday and then the week after it was like angel wing anointing and then two days later I get this. So I'm like, okay, well, he just got his victory, so apparently mine's coming in two days. And you were so mad. The way you said it was like, oh, great, maybe I'll get mine in two days. And you said this just attitude. I it was did. Just, it, it was so, it was so bad. It was I wanted, so bad. I was bad. trying to not laugh. I think I didn't laugh, but inside I was cracking well, up. Well, and then, but then you were like, well, you, you can have it today. And I was just yeah. like, mm. yeah. I don't, it just, the, even that, like, I was just like, Ugh. Well, then it's my fault and I have to, you know, and you're just like going through all of these crazy like emotions and... And then it got worse. And then it got worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. And so it was just like, you know, just every, every doubt, every fear just started, it was really like spewing out of my mouth. And, and it was just like, wow, you know, and Devin, he's like trying to help me. It's like, well, is there anything? that you can say like this is god and i'm like well yeah the whole journey's been god and it's like what do you hear what you're saying yeah you're saying this whole journey has been god and yet everything about this journey you can't trust is god yeah. it's like there's something wrong with this <laughs> and then i think you kind of stopped at that point and I, well yeah and then you can because i saw I, yeah i saw something and it was like, but the thing of it is, like, as soon as I, because Michelle was sitting on the couch over here, and she was just in, and it's like, I didn't recognize it right away. It's so many times the way the enemy attacks us is the same way. It is. But we oftentimes just don't recognize it. Yeah. Because it takes, like, several times for us to pick up on the pattern and be like, wait a second. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we don't go through the pattern enough times and get victory over the pattern enough times to even recognize it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we just get subdued by it and we're just, yeah. we're, we're done. We quit or we give yeah. up or something like that. But when I came over to Michelle, do you want me to share this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I came over to Michelle, I saw in the spirit this huge python anaconda boa constrictor it was a python though because i'm a snake guy and i know what pythons look like and it was massive and it reminded me yeah. of that dream i had of the uh the church that we thought was a zoo and it's actually uh, it was a prison that represented the church and there was that snake area and just this so snakes were massive yeah they were you were the saying biggest it snakes. also you could kind of think of it like in the um the jungle book that Yes, yeah, so it was like Ka. Yeah, Ka. She came around and she wrapped herself around Mowgli as she's mesmerizing him with her enchanting words mm -hmm. and her mouth is just like over. That's what I saw with Michelle. Mm -hmm. You were just sitting there on the couch and I, it was just kind of wrapped around her upper body. Just mm -hmm. like, I saw like three coils and then its head was over you like mm -hmm. this, like with its getting ready to eat you, you know? <laughs> And then I was reminded of Rick Joyner's book, The Final Quest, how he starts off that book with a, a, a dream that God gave him about how demonic things, they attach themselves to all kinds of Christians. Because in the front line of the enemy's army in that book, The Final Quest, um, they were all lined with Christians. Mm -hmm. They weren't lined with unbelievers. Yeah. They were lined with believers. Mm -hmm. And they were wrapped up in... They had on the armor of God and they had their weapons, but they weren't using any of it. Mm -hmm. And the enemy was just sitting on all of these, all these little demons were sitting on all these believers and they were defecating on them and peeing on them and cursing in their ear. And it was, it was a gruesome, horrific, you know, kind of, it was like, it was like a scene cut out of Lord of the Rings where the orc army is marching mm -hmm. or something, but. It's yeah. like they're on top of Christians and they're well, riding yeah. Christians like then, like horses. You but know? the Christian, it was like they didn't. They just thought it was himself. Like yes, they didn't even exactly. recognize what it was because they were mesmerized mm -hmm. by the experience and they just thought it was them mm -hmm. failing or them. Yeah, it was them. It was about yeah. them. You know, and I think that's kind of one of the enemy's primary attacks: make them think about themselves. Yeah. You know, and then that way it makes it real easy for him to wrap himself around you. Mm -hmm. And it just felt like the, the enemy was just squeezing the life out yeah. of her, squeezing the, squeezing the life out of the promise, you know, out yeah. of her faith and all that stuff. 
And I had to stop the conversation. Yeah. I was like, sweetie, pee, we need to stop this conversation. Yeah. Because me talking to you right now is not going to help. Yeah. And you need to see what I'm seeing. And it's going to be weird. And yeah. it's going to be maybe a little messy or whatever. But we need to deal with this yeah. the way it needs to be dealt with. The yeah. way Jesus would deal with it. And that's what he was like. Uh, do you see what's going on there? Mm -hmm. You're not going to talk to her and minister to her like that. No. Look at, look at that. And as soon as I even addressed it, didn't you feel oh, like, whoa, yeah. wait a minute. It's like yeah. you woke up yeah. for a second there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa, what's going on? And, and it Wonder was, Woman returned. Exactly. <laughs> well, what's interesting, too, is like just as all of this was going on, I'd have these little flashes of Wonder Woman. <laughs> I didn't and, know that yeah. until just now. <laughs> and, it was, and it was the scene in, in Wonder Woman when she's, at, when she's combating, like, her friends is, is before she realized she has any power. Of oh, it. And yeah. then and then she just comes out and boom, she has this power and everyone on, just do, like gotta do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom, she has this power and it was like it it's like, whoa, that was in me? Like I didn't even know that was in me. But it's like all of this is just kinda like I'd have like little fat flashes, you know, of of this power coming out of her. And so then when you... That was the Lord. Yeah, it was the Lord. It really was the Lord. <laughs> and so when Devin was just like telling me what's going on and he was just like, but you have to do this. You know, it's like you have to, you know... Because you were coming into off. agreement with it. Yeah. The more you... It's like, th this is how... this. I'm going to share with the, what I feel like the Lord's saying about that, like right now. He's just giving me this revelation right now. I felt like the Lord was saying, the more that you were agreeing, coming into agreement with what that thing was spewing on you, uh, the, 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 easy, the, tight, the tighter mm -hmm. it could become. Mm -hmm. You know, because you were giving voice. Ryan Lestrange just came out with a Monday word yeah. today to talk about spiritual bullies. He talked uh -huh. about don't come and don't deal with spirit, tolerate spiritual bullies mm -hmm. and, and everything like that. And he was saying like, you can give voice to the enemy, but it was like, that's basically what you were doing. You were bullying yourself yeah. by allow by coming into agreement with what the enemy mm -hmm. was, was saying against God. It didn't even have to do with you. Yeah. Really. It was a, just, God's like, I'm going to try to take out one of your people because I'm trying to hurt God. Yeah. You know, and it's like when you come into agreement with it, he can squeeze you all the yeah. more until he squeezes the life out mm -hmm. of you. Squeezes the faith out of you by confessing with your mouth. Yeah. You know? And so basically at that point, it was just like, no, like... It's like, well, I'm coming into agreement with what God has to say. It was amazing. I really wish we could have had a camera in that moment. And you could have seen the, her eyes, yeah. seen your eyes. Your eyes were like, wait a minute, what's going on? Yeah. You know, you had this look like, I am so mad right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, you know, it was, it <laughs> it was, was. just it like, was just I was like, me. yes, was like, come no. on, girl, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, and so then I just, you know, I was just like, no, get away from me, Satan. And, and, yeah, and you said you just saw it, just like, yeah, it just like fell off. Uh -huh. It was almost like it, it was almost like a balloon mm -hmm. and it deflated. Yeah. And it just deflated and it just slithered off. And I was yeah. like, well, that's no python I've ever, because big snakes can't move very fast. Yeah. But that thing fell off and it just slithered away. Yeah. And I was and, like, whoa, that was And then was it just was just weird. like, you know, we just started, I just started <clears throat> declaring what the truth was. And it was just like, oh, it's almost like, it really was like you're, you're it was a relief. being constricted and just being re released. And you're like, whoa, what just happened? I, I really did feel like I kind of went through a trauma. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, exactly how it felt yesterday too yeah and it was just like oh okay i made it and what was really cool too so we just we started doing worship and <laughs> and and god just it was like god was just like no i just hey come you know like just yeah because the interesting thing is like we we have times like that and then we just kind of want to go to the next thing yeah and god was like whoa, whoa, whoa hold on hold on let's... something just happened here you can feel that sense yeah. of come to me come, yeah you know this Come hang out with me for a little bit. Yeah, you know? and so we were just, and I really <clears throat> feel like it was with him. It was like, hey, like, come to me. Like, wow, this this was a traumatic thing, but you overcame. Yeah, he and, was excited. <laughs> and it's like, this is so awesome. You overcame, and I am here, you know. And um, and so we were praying, and, and then you got a vision 
of the um oh that we had this armor yeah yeah that was really cool yeah we got this vision i got this vision of me wearing this armor it was kind of golden it wasn't glistening but it was this golden armor it was really cool and then i looked at michelle because i was like does she have armor too and i looked up and she totally had this amazing armor that actually had like feathers as part of the armor it was weird and, and I was like, okay, that's cool. And then, again, I thought of Rick Joyner's vision where these guys, they have this great victory, and then they have this glistening armor, but then Jesus hands him a uh, uh, this brown, kind of dirty sack-looking cloak, you know, and he puts it on, he was like, that's humility. Mm -hmm. And right away, I was like, Lord, I'll, I'll take the brown sack, please, yeah. because I don't want to be like this glistening, ooh, look at what, look at what I did. Yeah. Look what God's done in my life. And, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And be prideful and not even realize it. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, okay, I just want to just clothe myself in humility but God's like don't worry about that you're not <laughs> yeah you know it's almost like the humility is built in the armor yeah that's why it wasn't glistening mm -hmm. it know? was it was it was whoa, whoa. man yeah. <laughs> holy cow that's why did it you wasn't feel deep. that <laughs> no but I mean I agree because I was gonna wow. say that's why it wasn't glistening but it was new you said it it looked oh. new but it wasn't shiny it was just new and and everything yeah I don't know, I just feel like that's what the Lord's saying. He's just like, that's what I've been doing all this time, mm -hmm. you know? I've been building it in you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wear it. It's in you. It's just yeah. it's just who you are. It's mm -hmm. like Moses. He was a humble person. Yeah. Or Job. He was like a humble person. Mm -hmm. It just was who he was. And it's like, God's like, it's just a part of who you are, you know? Yeah. That's why it has that non-glistening kind of, almost kind of like a dim effect to it. It had. Yeah. And I was just like, what? I've never seen that kind of armor before. Mm -hmm. It was like, because the humility is built into the armor. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. That's amazing. Because I was like, Lord, I don't have a brown cloak. Because I know, it, because of Rick Joyner's vision in the final quest, it was like, that's what got him in trouble. Yeah. They, they, the, 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 the armor was so glistening, he couldn't even see the Lord. Yeah. And it was just like, here, put this humility on, you know? Yeah. Not that that, not that, that was a prideful yeah. position he was in. It's just, like Paul says, but because of the surpassing revelations, I could totally be puffed up with pride. Yeah. So, so I have this spirit that sent a buff at me or whatever mm -hmm. i think it was just as constantly dealing with religious people that's what i think <laughs> and how he reacted to it probably yeah. was the uh but anyway wow that was awesome yeah i just totally saw that like thank you lord man i'm just so grateful yeah to god you know it's just like from one victory to another victory and you get to see that whole unraveling thing you get mm -hmm. to see more and more of what he's doing you know yeah and and so then we kind of wow, that was amazing. <laughs> we we had been getting the number three one three, and for the really like yesterday. And well, the day before. Yeah, the day the day, the day before, before we, saw we had it like, it like five, five times. times. Yeah. Yesterday we saw, we saw it twice. It twice yesterday, and we're just yeah. like, okay, we really wanted That's to figure times. out like why are we <laughs> seeing this? And and we really I like I had tried to figure out like what is this about, and. So then um, we, we were just like, okay, Lord, like help us figure this out. You were really like, I need to figure this out because you yeah, saw it again. I don't want to go to bed without and <laughs> figuring this and out. And we're just like, Lord, what is something. this? So again, I just like, I went back to, for us personally, God has used where we can go to the page number of the yeah. Bible and he's yeah. been using that. Yeah. And so in our Bible page, 313 is in Deuteronomy and it was the end of chapter 26 and the beginning of chapter 27 Let's and I this short and sweet yeah so I had because <laughs> I could this could, this yeah, could be yeah, a whole yeah. other video right here. which for us just spoke volumes and it really was from to from yesterday the morning we had been doing all this number studying about you know with 26 and going to 27 mm -hmm. again it's this transitional type of thing and mm -hmm. so that really spoke out to us of just like hey we're transitioning again from 26 to 27 and which is 26 is the power of salvation yeah. and 27 is the ministry of salvation yeah. 
So why can't we do the 27 yet? Because, because we have to have the 26 first. Right, we have to have the power, and that's what God's showing and working mm -hmm. us in us now. We have to have, and really, honestly, in the physical sense, it comes down to funding. You have to, we have to be funded to do the thing that God wants us to yeah. do. Otherwise, yeah. You know, but that's the thing. God's going to show up and demonstrate his power, and we're in the transition phase of that yeah. right now. Yeah, you and know? and really <clears throat> he's, like, establishing, like, personally, like, that power within ourselves. Yeah. And bringing us into a new mm -hmm. a new place. And um, and then, so, and and actually, like, the, the verses, um, uh, oh, chapter 20, 26, yeah. 17 through 19, mm -hmm. just really spoke to us. And it's so funny because yesterday, <laughs> well, it would have been Saturday, I actually had looked at that page and I, I was like, oh, 17 through through 19, not 20, mm -hmm. through 19 is really good. Like I think that they could apply to us, but they didn't really like jump out or it was like this huge didn't resonating. Really hit. It didn't yeah. hit. But then mm -hmm. last night it was like, whoa, like this really is for us. You not know? only that, but it was like we felt like it was the Lord declaring that yeah. over us like this day. Yeah. You know. You, you have made... You've declared, declared yeah. that I'm your God. And that's really what happened yesterday for yeah. both of us. And we both we both got there at the same time. It was just awesome. Yeah. You know? It was yeah. just like we had the our day, day of victory. Yeah, you know? the day we of victory. A, like everything that God was speaking to us during the day and then throughout the day, it actually happened on yeah. that day. You know? Yeah. Because and we're starting to see it from a spiritual perspective, not than, a like, oh, I need the thing. Oh, that didn't yeah. happen today. God didn't do anything today. Mm -hmm. I'm bummed. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and and actually then also last night though, because you were like, whoa, okay, is this over? And you felt like God was like, oh, it's not, not yet. Like there's a mm -hmm. little more work to be do done. And at first it was like, it can like strike fear. It really did. It was like, uh, oh, great. What kind of attack are we going to have tomorrow? Like, how are we going to get through this? But yeah. but ultimately, I, it was like, once again, God was just like, no, it's not over. Like, I have other things that I want to do. And so we woke up this morning, and, and that's really yeah. like, God's like, okay, here's some the rest of what yeah. I want to do yeah. and, and sow in you. And um, So we started seeing like eights like crazy. Yeah. During this entire journey, eights have never, ever really been a significant mm -hmm. number. We ne Neither have sixes. We had that yeah. moment where there was the sixes and God changed our mind about what the sixes really mean. Yeah. He's like, they're all my numbers. Yeah. I, th none of these numbers belong to the devil. They're yeah. my numbers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like they all can have a positive connotation to yeah. them. And they all can have a negative connotation mm -hmm. to them as well. But, <clears throat> but it's like it made sense to me. This morning, like why we've never seen eights because God's like, well, that means new beginnings. Yeah. I'm not, no. <laughs> we're, we're not to that point yet. Where there's, so it's like there's yesterday, ring of fire, you know, we are, we're crossing the finish line, so to speak, of this like, or we're, we feel like we have been birthed. Yeah. That's really what it is. We feel like mm -hmm. yesterday is like, we really we were, were born. And the Lord has always said to me, like, it's you that's being born. Yeah. You know, not a ministry or a thing or whatever. It's you that's coming out. Like, that was our birthing day. It was yeah. our birthday yesterday, you yeah. know? And so I wake up this morning with the visions of Lazarus and what else was the other one? Um, graduation and the promotion. The graduation vision and that promotion vision that I said. Man, I made that video a long time ago. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, what's next, Lord? He was like, promotion is what's next. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, awesome. I'll see you in a couple days. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That didn't happen. No. <laughs> it's like a lot of times you just don't know the, the, the timing of a prophetic thing. Yeah. You know, and, and even if God says not many days from now, he really does mean that, you know, in, in, the, in the grand scheme of yeah. things. You know, it's like it's going to be like, I don't know, but it's not going to be that long. Yeah. That's what he's saying. It's like there's a scheduled well, date for yeah, your Yeah, and I think too it's it's. And I feel like that was yesterday. Yeah. You know? Well, and it's also like looking at it as <sighs> what is God talking about? Because right. so much of the time, you know, we put it through the lens of what we want to see happen. And God mm -hmm. is like, well, I'm telling you what I'm doing in you. And and it's like they're... they're and we're like, never really, mind that part. Yeah, it's like, I don't when, want that. When I, I want get this my other thing. prizes and my toys. And, and um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so this morning when, when we woke up and we were um, 
I was just like, wow, like, you know, you're talking about being lifted up, called out and lifted up. And I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, I think this is what God is spiritually going to be doing with us today. Oh, because well, that's what all three of those visions had in common. I felt mm -hmm. like the Lord started sharing with me. And even this morning, right away, it was like there was this little temptation, this little creeping little gullum that was trying to come up and be like, Look at what hap look at what's happening or look at what's not happening. Nothing's yeah. happening today. Yeah. You know, there's no and I was just like, you know what? Get away from me. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like this is not happening. And it was just like it was just that quick. It wasn't yeah. a long drawn out thing. Mm -hmm. and, and it was after that that the Lord put on my heart those three visions and how like what are these all have in common? There's a calling. Mm -hmm. You know, because the other vision I had about the lawyer's office and Jesus walked in as a judge and said, I'm going to give you mercy. It was almost like there was a next step. There was an unraveling to that vision. Mm -hmm. But I was like, what about all the other visions? And today, that's what he talked about. Yeah. And he was like, there's the commonality between those visions is there's a calling out yeah. or and a calling up. Yeah. And um, so I just wanted to make that connection. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just kind of talking about that. And I actually woke up. I had a dream. And this is actually the third time I've had a dream with similar people and scenarios in it. And God was just, I, it finally kind of brought it together for mm -hmm. me. And I was like, wow, he was basically showing me my Egypt. You know, when the Israelites came out of Egypt, they... They came out, but then they kept wanting to go back to Egypt. You but know, Egypt it was, like, was still in them. It was yeah, it was yeah. still a part of them. It's like yeah, they they left up, they left, and then at the same time, they every time there was issues or problems or they came up against this barrier where they had to, they needed to believe God instead of believing God, they started saying, oh, it was better when we were back in Egypt, and and like God was just showing me, I had this, I had this place in my heart where it was just like hey you just I keep going back like oh it would be better if it would have been better if and it was this place in my heart that really was my Egypt and so he threw kind of like my thing where right? I had this little yeah, re reservation, reservation of and it was God might disappoint me so I'm gonna I'm gonna try yeah. to protect myself a little bit here yeah. You and know? so my protection really was going back into this Egypt mindset. And I just felt like God was just showing me like, hey, this this is what's going on. And so I just prayed about it and closed it off. And, and, and I think that was something too for me because all, of the, all along it's like, Devin, a lot of times you're feeling things. <laughs> Whereas I don't yeah. feel any different, but... It's like more of the knowing and God has been just showing me like, you just need to know what mm -hmm. I have done. You don't need to feel, wow, I feel so different. This is awesome. It's like, no, you just need to know that you are different, yeah. that, that, that no longer exists in your life. Mm -hmm. And, and so that's just even, even that in and of itself has been this process of like, okay. Cause I, I expect, I expect this feeling to come with it which then tells me something's different happened. But God's like, no, you just need to trust that something has happened and walk forward in it. And so that was just really cool this morning of like, whoa, here, here's this place that I keep going to. And he also, um, we had some uh, boxes in the, like Huggies boxes in, in the bedroom and some wipes and wipes. And so the, the wipes box had, um, 1152 on it. And then the diapers, 88 and, and 44, 44, which has been the numbers this morning. It's been 22, 44 and 88 yeah. or 222, 444. You yeah. know what I mean? It's been that. This and so Devin had, he's like, he wrote it on the board cause he felt like, okay, God, for some reason wants to use these numbers. And mm -hmm. it just reminded me like, for us, the 1152, God then reversed it to 5211. Yeah. And, and I was like, can you do that? Yeah. He's like, I'm God. Yeah. Of course I can. <laughs> and, and, so, <laughs> and so I it was Isaiah 5211, which talks about depart, um, like leaving Babylon. It's when they were getting ready to leave Babylon. And he said, depart, but do not, basically don't touch any unclean thing. And it's like, cleanse yourselves. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, 
oh my gosh, like that is what God has been doing because it's this mindset, this captivity. It's that whole captivity church mindset. Mm -hmm. And and each of us, we can have our, these certain ways we think and look at how God should be doing things or how your life needs to go. And it's really holding you captive. Yeah. And it, your own idea yeah. of what you want to see happen. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just let that go and receive what God has. And you're going to yeah. be like, wow, this is so much better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so it was just like, whoa. And I thought it was interesting that those numbers were on diapers and a white box. And mm -hmm. it just, for me, it just spoke of like, hey, here are these like, you know, you use diapers and wipes for cleaning, you know. It's like, here's all this junk that's coming out and you got to clean it and take it away. And it's, and it's all, or you can even look at it as too, it's like, there's this dirty diaper that you keep putting on. It's like, no, you don't. I know. Nobody does that. I'm going to hold this on just in case this, there this isn't a toilet. stinky, dirty yeah. diaper <laughs> that has so much junk in it, but I'm going to keep it just in case I need it. It's like, well, it used to be really good back there. It's like, do you remember being back there? It's like, no, yeah. there's a reason God got you out of there. It was crappy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then it was like the wipes, you know, just like wiping clean, like mm -hmm. getting, get this out, depart yeah. from it, yeah. touch no unclean thing. It's like that, that Egypt is unclean. Like everything that comes with it is unclean. Like do not touch it, leave it behind. So it's like whatever your old mindset is, mm -hmm. whatever that thing is that you're holding on to, it's like, I'm going to hold on to this just in case God doesn't come through. Mm -hmm. Man, you need to let go of that thing. Yeah, and just get rid of it. Because then it becomes a circular reasoning type of thing because then God may not come through and then you're going to be like, see, I know I needed to hold on to it. Yeah. And it's like, no, you need to let it go so mm -hmm. that God can come through. Yeah. You know, it's because it's like God is trying to birth us. He's trying yeah. to birth the remnant. He's trying to birth you. And it's like he can't birth something new if you've got something old you're holding yeah. on to. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that the, the idea? So really that's what God has been showing us is is just been this birthing out, um, just basically like calling us up to to the new place, the new level. He's like, forget Egypt. I've called you up. I've called you out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. You know? And oh, that was the other thing with um, Lazarus. When he was called out, God then unbound him. Oh, the ten eighteen. Yeah, that's yeah. And it's like <laughs> he he unwrapped um, Lazarus. He's like, hey, get him out of his clothes, like you know, mm -hmm. the burial clothes. And it's like that's the same thing. God is like, hey, I'm unwrapping this for you so that you can walk out into new life. You know, mm -hmm. that's what he gave Lazarus. He gave him life. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what God wants to give us. But if we're if we're constantly like, you know, it's like if Lazarus, they're taking the stuff off of him and he's like, no, 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 put it back on, put it back on. It's like, that would be ridiculous. I mean, you can't live life bound up. And um, well, that's kind of what yesterday was about. Yeah, for us. it was the fullness of the victory. Yeah, the completeness of getting everything yeah. that's going to try to follow us from the past. Get rid of it. Yeah. Detach ourselves mm -hmm. from it completely. You yeah. Know? And then he sealed it with you with a dream. And yeah. it's like more revelation about it this morning. And it was just like, no, we're well, completely and that's, done. And that's what I really Complete feel like. And total victory. Personally. Newness. Yeah. Which is why that we we're seeing the eights today. Yeah. Because God's like, you're ready for the new. So I'm going to call you out and up. up. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and I feel like for me too, personally, it's like he's like, I called you out. And, and he really has been, I've been feeling this like unraveling, mm -hmm. like, because he's been showing me stuff wow, and I'm that's like, so true. wow, like I didn't <laughs> even realize that was all over me and, and where that came from. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, well, I'm taking it off. I am taking all of that off. All these attachments from yeah. the past and desire to be something uh -huh. that was attached to something you saw when yeah. you were like a teenager. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and like... so it's just like, wow, I didn't even realize that was all there, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like, okay, well, we're just taking it off. I'm, I'm so that, you, you know, we can walk into the newness of life. Yeah. And so really, I feel like from, from yesterday morning until now, um, which is like today is Monday at <laughs> two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And, um, basically this whole time has really been 
God birthing us in victory and taking off all the old old ways of thinking, old mindsets, and just being completely done away with those things. Um, and, you know, it really is, I feel like God is just like, you know, he does do all of this spiritually, but he's like, but he's also going to do it in the physical as well. Yeah. You know, it's, but it's like, it has to happen inside of us before it can happen on the outside. Yeah, you have to be fully formed. I feel like yeah. that was something the Lord was saying to us last mm -hmm. night, a fully formed child, yeah. and then it comes out. Because mm -hmm. it's like all the stuff that's going on with a baby is all happening in secret. So yeah. it's like everything that's been happening through, to us throughout all of 2017 has been all done in the spirit, yeah. in our hearts, in the mm -hmm. secret. But then there's a, pl there's a time when we will come out in the open yeah. And it's going to be like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, we're going to see the manifestation of the physical, physically hold in our hands, the mm -hmm. promises of God that he's promised us. Yeah. You know? And so that's, so we are still looking forward to that. And, but it's like, at the same time, I'm just like really excited for all that God is doing. You know, it's like, you don't have to be, you don't have to be afraid. I think that's really also one of those things is that gets bound up and you know it's like don't you don't have to be afraid of what god is doing yeah and and just saying no to the enemy and just living really being lifted up and being able to live above you know it's like the attacks can come but you can just nope i'm not gonna even i'm not even gonna deal with that um which is actually something we saw with the jesse duplantis was talking about he's like you know i get attacked i See things, but I'm like, no. Just I have, refuse. He's like, I refuse to even let the enemy come and touch me at all. You know, and because it's, you're going to give him the ability to help shape what your world's going to look like. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to give him a here. I'm, I, you know what? I'll just let you shape that little part over there. Okay, cool. And it's just he's going to infect your whole yeah. world. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's all we have yep. for today. And so yep. I hope that this just encourages you guys. Um, and I just pray that God would just break um, any bonds off of you. And I know that he will. Um, if it's you just, allow it's, him to. Yeah. You know, if you don't yeah. want, if you're going to hold on to that thing, I'm going to hold on to a little bit of self-salvation. Mm. Yeah. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Yeah. You, know? you just have to, you have to let go yeah. and, and allow God to do what he wants to do and trust him. Yeah. You know, that's what we were talking about too, is just. Like, I was like, Lord, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I trust you with my life. I trust you with all of my situations. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm going to let go, you know, and stop trying to save myself. And why is Isaiah not in this video? Because he's, he's right down there he's sleeping. sleeping. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. So until next right, time, yeah. we'll see you guys later. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. See ya.